You know, enjoying the shooting sports, you have to take a lot of responsibility for your safety and the safety of others. Handling firearms can be very dangerous if done carelessly. But even when you are super careful, even when you cross all your T's and dot all your I's, things can happen. And having a good trauma kit is imperative. So we're going to look at the AR-500 Armor EPIX. And they have a number of medical trauma kits to fit so many different needs. AR-500 Armor makes some of the best armor plates for the money on the market. And I've done extensive testing on their armor plate series. In fact, I'll have a place annotated right here and uh, down in the description below for you guys on sale. But, but AR-500 Armor is not only satisfied with protecting you with armor plating. Also, if you get injured. And this is a line that they've just released. And it's the uh, IPIC, which is the Emergency Personal Injury Kit very similar to the IFAC and this is something that can take care of whatever trauma or massive hemorrhaging that you may face now guys if you're out on the range shooting you need to definitely consider having something to protect not only you but also your loved ones or your shooting buddies because guys it can happen and if you shoot enough it's really a good possibility now they offer a number of kits and these are the three main ones and this is their pocket emergency kit and it's just very small it's perfect for your cargo pocket and you can carry this anywhere and guys this will take care of any of your massive bleeding and so you've got it right there in your pocket now as they go up your capabilities are going to increase and so you have your side plate pouch emergency personal kit here and then you have your tactical kit that actually goes right there on your molly webbing or uh, can go with your tactical gear and so of course it comes with this bag okay first we're going to look at the pocket epic and this is of course their smallest and least expensive kit and if you know if you can't really do the major kit you should at least have one of these in your range bag or in your vehicle uh, it comes in the lock sack which is a ziplock bag that is waterproof and these are really high quality high mill systems and so it really secures your items together and then they have a list here of all the different products that are in here the expiration date and all your pertinent information and so then what's in this kit everything is packed very well and it comes out really neatly and it's really easy to organize this I've pulled this out once before and it was easy to repack one thing that the lock sack is going to do too is it's going to keep things from getting contaminated now in the sack itself, it, it's five and a half inches in height and four and a half inches in width, and it weighs 7.8 ounces. And like I said, it's perfect for your cargo pants pocket. Now what I really like about the personal EPEC is that it's made for the cargo pocket. So it can slide down, and really you don't even know it's there. If you need it, of course you can pull it right out. And it has all the essentials to stop any kind of major bleeding. And this is the smallest kit to handle severe bleeding wounds which could be gunshot wounds, puncture wounds, anything that's really going to cause severe bleeding. It does come with an, a large pair of nitrile gloves, and these are in the black. They're latex-free. And, you know, there's two things about having a good set of gloves. Number one, it protects, uh, you know, you if you're using it on someone else. It protects someone else if they're using it on you in case you have some kind of bloodborne illness. Uh, secondly, it also keeps your hands. If you've got hands dirty, if you've had them down in the dirt, uh, putting on these gloves keeps a sterile environment. Not really sterile because once you open them up, but it's going to really keep the infection down once you start treating the wound. Now to get started, we have the Celox, and this is the hemostatic uh, granules. And this is going to stop bleeding. You pour this into the, the wound cavity, and it's going to clot. It's going to clot the blood. And so this is really just a temporary fix until you can get to the hospital. But it works very well with clotting the blood and making it slow down and to even stop. I know at one time with Quick Clot, especially the early version, uh, they were causing second degree burns uh, at times. And so they did away with it for a little while, but they reformulated it. And Celox is an excellent um, company that makes this hemostatic agent. And so this is really great to have to be able to pour on the wound just to get that bleeding stopped because that's one of the things that's really important is to get it stopped. And then we have some of the H&H &H compressed galls. And this just unrolls and pulls loose and you pack this into the wound. And this also keeps the bleeding down. It packs it in and you just continue to stuff it in as much as possible. It's, uh, it's a pretty big piece. It's four and a half inches wide, but it's 
uh, yards long stretched. It's a six ply cotton and it fits down in. And of course this is a single use. You just use it, put it in. You can even wrap the excess around the leg if you, or arm if you need to or whatever extremity that's wounded. And then we just have a four inch compression bandage. And this is something you're going to wrap the H&H &H compression gauze if you're needing to use this entire amount. Now one of the things that I really like and about this system is the SWAT T. And this is a stretch and wrap tuck tourniquet. So that's where uh, SWAT comes from. Stretch, wrap, and tuck. And then the T is for tourniquet. Now the SWAT T tourniquet is really a unique item. So I really wanted to demonstrate how you can use this. And really there are so many different uh, uses for this item. Now right here is the area where you can easily go ahead and open your, your package up. Now you do have instructions on the back. So if you need those, you may want to be careful not to tear the back part. As you can see, it's kind of a rubberized material, almost like one of your bicycle inner tubes. Instructions are on the inside. It just unrolls. On the wrap itself, it does have instructions, but you want to take this oval and make it stretch it out until it becomes a diamond. And so when you do that, that means that you have enough tension on the wrap itself. Let's say that I have an injury right in this area. Now, of course, you want to get in between the heart and the wound. So you're going to go ahead and bring this around and then just start pulling pretty tightly. When I get it to a certain point, I'm going to want to tuck it. Because of this tight material, it's going to stay into place once you tuck it. And then it's there. Now, you don't want to feel your arterial pulse. When you have that stopped, that's when you know that it's tight enough. I would highly suggest, too, that you go ahead and try out your gear. Um, of course, you know, if you're using some of your gear, uh, you can reuse this, but some of your galls and stuff, of course, you can't. So you want to have extra on hand. But really, practice is really important. And what's even better is to get really professional instruction uh, with a medical professional. And these are safe for about two hours. So go ahead and get medical attention as soon as possible. UMC Hoss did a great video on this showing all the different benefits, whether it was an ankle brace, whether it was to keep your jaw shut in case you had damage to your jaw, or as a sling in case you break your arm. So there are so many different uses to this, and I think this is something that really you should have a couple or three of these at all times. I think they run about $10. So it's a great option, multiple uses. Rather than just your standard cat tourniquet, this can be a small package, you can keep it close. I keep cat tourniquets around, especially in my tactical gear. But I'm not always wearing tactical gear. So the SWAT T is an excellent backup to be able to fit into a small package. And you can use this uh, for not only a can tourniquet, but also for other trauma uh, care devices. And of course, it has the full instructions right there on the back. The Pocket EPIC is only $29. Guys, you can't afford not to carry one of these with you. This is definitely a great stopgap method. No, it's not a complete trauma kit, but what an excellent buy. Next, we have the side plate pouch EPIC, and this has, of course, again, everything you can see. One of the things, too, and I didn't mention this in the, with the pocket EPIC, is that you can see everything that's in here because of the lock sack. So it's really easy to identify what you have, and, of course, there is also a list here with expiration. So you've got everything included right here on the, the a lock sack. And again, this, these lock sacks are excellent for a lot of different things. Everything comes out of the pack very easily. Uh, you're not going to have a lot of uh, trouble pulling things out. And if you're in a high stress situation, that could be an issue. Even though this says that it is a side plate pouch kit, it can fit in a lot of different places. And this goes a good step above your pocket EPIC. Uh, of course, the first thing, you know, you have your black nitrile gloves that are large. These are very durable. You have your Cellox, which is a um, hemostatic agent that's going to stop the bleeding. And again, you have your SWAT T tourniquet. But here we have more of an advanced H&H &H Thin H bandage. And this is flat folded. It is a compression bandage, a hasty tourniquet. 
an emergency sling. You can use this for a number of different things. But the big thing this does is you stuff this into the wound canal. You get that bleeding stopped. Use the Cellox to get the bleeding clotted, and then you come along with the H&H uh, &H bandage, and you just take that compressive compression, and you just put it into the wound. Now we have the 6x6 Crinkle Super Sponge. And this is an excellent area, for, especially for tender areas, uh, that you need to just protect and be careful. It is highly absorbent. It's fluff and it's diamond folded so this is an excellent item also to put into a wound cavity to get the bleeding stopped and to add a little comfort one of the big things over the pocket epic is this fox seal and this is for open chest wounds this is seals open chest wounds if you have a bullet wound through a chest cavity you need to stop air from getting in, especially if it's through the lung, because the lung is going to be pulling in air and debris, and you need to get that stopped to form a compressive seal. And so that's one of the things that the Fox Seal is going to do. And not only uh, you do you need one, you need two of these. And both of them are in this package. So you put one on the front entrance and on the exit hole. So having this could really save a life, compress the chest, and keep air from being sucked into the chest. Again, it reseals very well. If you need to pull out your gear, get used to what you're doing, uh, and you can just pack it right back in to the Alok sack. The side pouch EPIC is 8 ounces, and it's 6 inches by 8 inches and about 1 inch thick. The price on the side plate pouch EPIC is $49. Now, here we have the tactical EPIC. And it is in a molly pouch, nice hook and loop field that comes with the same color as the pouch with the red cross. That way that not only you, but also those that are with you will know that this is a trauma kit if it's on your gear or in a bag. Now first I want to note that this is one of the SOF wide tourniquets. And this is an accessory that you can purchase with this medical kit. It doesn't come on here standard. You do have your SWAT tourniquet kit in here but the SOF wide tourniquet is going to be separate. Of course, I've pulled the Molly straps off just to show you, but then you have your Molly webbing here. And of course, this goes on you know, any of your chest rigs, your battle belts, packs, whatever you have that is Molly compatible. And one of the things that AR500 says is this is everything you need and nothing you don't. Now, it does leave some room if you want to put extra stuff in here, but this is what you need. You have double pull zippers. It opens up very well and it does have these adjustables right here that you can set this so you can use it as a shelf where things don't just flop open or you can. Uh, everything in the top is secured but some of the items here are not. They're just packed in. Of course first off you have your black nitrile gloves. Again they're in the large size. We have medical tape in here that's a half inch by two and a half yards in length. Have the H&H &H compression galls. Then here we have one of the SWAT-T tourniquets. Now this is the Elias Modular Bandage, and this is an exceptional product to me, is that it's a bandage that you can wrap as a compression bandage, and it has an ocular cup that actually fits down into the wound. Then you wrap continually around that, and that gives extra pressure to the wound. But this also has, inside on one end, you lift the flap and you can pull out compression galls. And you can actually treat two wounds at once. You can put this on one, let's say you're shot through the leg, put this on one, put that compression gauze on the back, and you can wrap it up. So this is an exceptional product right here, and hopefully I'm going to try to do a review on this uh, not too, in the not-too-distant future, because this is something that's really exceptional. And of course, again, it fits into this pack system, and it just really uh, takes care of more than one issue. We have the Fox chest seals, and of course, again, there are two of them in here. We have trauma shears to cut away clothing. We have a 4 inch compress bandage. And we have a 35 gram Cellox uh, hemostatic granular package. Of course, the inside of the bag has elastic keepers all through it. And then here, the straps are adjustable. And you have your adjustments right here. The pouch itself is 7.5 inches in height and 6 inches wide. It weighs just under a pound and a half, and it's three and a half inches in thickness. And this is going to give you the most effective means to treat any kind of excessive hemorrhaging or bleeding, uh, trauma wound, of course, with uh, puncture wounds, knife wounds, and gunshot. 
and the tactical epic is 79 dollars guys that's not a bad price for this kind of quality gear you know one of the things you need to be careful of is their kits out there you can buy hit kits all over the place make sure that you buy proven accessories and proven gear because when your life's on the line that $79 down to $29 is nothing compared to your life repacking the kit is really easy and you know everything you see it visible right here very easy to get to being safe means being prepared now to get more information on the epic even the tactical the pocket or the side pouch epic just go to ar500armor.com check it out and while you're there I highly recommend to check out their AR-500 armor plates, which will defeat up to 308 or 7.62 by 51 We've done a lot of tests. In fact, I'll have the video annotated right here for you to check it out. But AR-500 armor is out to help protect you in case of a grid down situation, SHTF, or just everyday uh, problems that can and will occur. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. We have some waterproof. Uh... We have waterproof medical tape, and this is uh, about. We have medical tape. This is a half inch by. Uh... <laughs> Next, we have the side plate pouch. Uh, epic, epic. Now, first, we're going to take a look at the pocket emergency epic. Epic. <laughs> 